Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Ham Hands investigation. investigation. <laughs> I promise you we didn't plan that and I'm very sad that that just happened. I'm not. My apologies. I'm not. Let's go investigate Ham Hands. <laughs> Under this very table, Byakuo was... F first, I should investigate the top of the table. Though, the only thing on top of the table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp, and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... How did you kill him and get the table and the thing back over before the power came back on? Well, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, you have the night vision goggles there, so that whoever it was probably could see. Mm -hmm. But still, that's a large body to have to move. Right. So I'm like, did you like put the table on over him? Which you would hear the table move. I don't know. Anyways. So I'm like, I'm with you where I'm like, how did no one hear anything? I mean, obviously it was chaotic. Correct. Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. Enduring the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny, he was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. What is hanging from the table that has that green splotch on it? I want to check that out. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Alright, yeah. Hmm? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Oh, so it's that type of paint that like shows up. Even in the dark? In the dark, yeah. Like glows. Could this be glowing paint? Can't think of. It's on the knife too. So they could find the knife easier. A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the co and all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralumin case. That's what they were protecting. But I thought the power supply was in there too. Hmm. Well, wait a second. So... Oh. Remember... Remember when we said it would be weird if it were fake Makoto? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Byakuya scouted this place out and looked for dangerous items, right? Mm -hmm. Then Makoto, uh, fake Makoto, came and cleaned up. Could he have taped the knife underneath the table? Oh, oh, that's smart taping it. I, don't, that, I didn't think about taping the knife. So yeah, tape the knife underneath the table. It glows. Mm -hmm. I don't know, now we're still like working the blackout part of it, Right. but if he's not going to have a hard time finding it. Hmm. It's possible that they stole this knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. It's got that paint on it, yep. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Sure is. Night vision goggles. So, so whoever did this was like prepared. Mm -hmm. mm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? They're not binoculars. Hey. Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Huh? Then what are they? Perhaps. Those are probably night vision goggles. N night vision goggles. Uh, I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They're also... S they also stock self-defense kits, too. Uh, if that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? Alright, we'll take a look at the body. The body's collapsed, face down, under the table. 
as if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was. Oh, it looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. It's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. Huh. Did he get killed, like, on top of the tablecloth? And then, they, like I said, they put the table and the tablecloth on top? But and, like, flipped the tablecloth? Yeah. And I still feel like there would be blood in other places. Yeah. I'm thinking he was stabbed underneath that table, table. which makes no sense, but... Uh, I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Byakuya's death. Alright. I also have not ruled out the idea of poison food. Mm -hmm. But they said there was no poison in his body. Oh, did they? Mm-hmm. Cause I thought of that too. Cause that would actually make the most sense. Mm -hmm. Is that you had, what if it was drugged food? All it said was poison. It did say no poison. Where is oh. the gymnast? She was eating that stuff too. Yeah, okay, we gotta find her. Oh, that would, that would make sense, yeah. Because, well, but then that ruins my fake Makoto theory. Right. Hmm. So I can explain either how he was underneath the table and got stabbed or, you know, like how the weapon got in here, but not both. Okay. All right. Talk to people, check out food. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, hellhound deering, answer my call. Impossible! Uh, is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? You! It is not a mere earring. It is the hellhound deering. Fine. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this certainly is random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. And his drenched blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver! The Hellhound earring, which... Uh, right. So that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian, I wear that earring at all times. Is that really... About a friggin' Pomeranian. Yep. I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what transpired. It's such a clever little bobble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head again against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath I the floorboards. I can see it! Ah, oh. there it is. I have found it. Truly it is. That is the hellhound earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. <laughs> Let <laughs> me Good ask. For him. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. What? Give up? The world? I might give up the earring. You! Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. If you flinch, you will die! But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now, if you excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring, but it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. 
Oh. Gaps in the floor. Oh, so maybe that was actually important. That's cool. I'm wondering if like the knife was hidden in a gap in the floorboards. No, I think it had to be taped underneath the table. Mm. Because of the tape. Because of the tape. <laughs> Mahu, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute, Ham Hands is alive and well. <laughs> <laughs> See, can't keep going. <laughs> Something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who killed who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Piakua may still be alive. This is the worst. This is this whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Didn't you make it our responsibility earlier? Yeah, Got it. So. Hey, Hajime. Forget what I just said. Got it? Y yeah, that's fine. I got it. Hmm. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Hey, Biakua, everyone, come on. I'm going to take a picture. All right. So All right. Say cheese. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The pictures. Hmm. Want to see them? I have a digital camera so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. All right. What do we got? Um. Let's see. It's this photo. All right. Hold on. Look where fake Makoto is. Yep. The table's standing, by the way. Yeah, okay. Hmm. And this one? Okay. All right, this one we can't see fake Makoto. Byakuya's against the wall on the left side of the room. Near the door. Uh, he has not, he's not eating. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Huh? Huh? Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Byakua was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Was it his body under that table with a lamp on top of it, the one underneath the monitor? Yeah. Prior to that, Byakua was standing along the wall, furthest away from that table. You're right. That's pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it leave could. Leave it to me. Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. All right. Now that that's decided, you better do your best. You better work hard on your investigation, too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Do you understand what's going on? You gotta find out how Ham Hands died. Figure it out, inmate. <laughs> I did it with straight face, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. Hey. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occur occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it. What? But why was Byakuya's body under that a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. 
Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are... Are you talking about her? I, I must... I must investigate my classmate's body. <laughs> yes, I, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. <laughs> that, that's why I, I, I need to do it... To do it somehow. Before you start... Uh, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right. I need to calm down first. I I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. Uh, <laughs> I am terribly sorry about that for showing you something so unsightly. Ah! You made me remember it again. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget, well, it's you. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Oh, this might be important. Um, well, I got startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up. Slipped on the carpet, was struggling to get back up. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. embarrassing. Please, please, please. No, that's you. No. Please, please erase it from your memory. E even if you ask me, I wouldn't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. <laughs> Stand it. <laughs> Embarrassing pose has been added to the truth bullets. Hmm. She so which table did she fall on? Because notice how all these are up. Alright, is there anything else we have not looked at? Ah! A remote controlled air conditioner. Hmm, an air conditioner? Could it be? Did we see that before? Yeah, I think so. It was right before that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right before. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner's remote control... Timer is set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was uh. around the same time. If so, that means... The mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Oh, we are so the ultimate detective. AC timer has been added to the truth bullets. But they haven't redone any of the other ultimates besides Yakuas and fake Makotos. Right, which they didn't actually like redo. Wait. Oh. Ah, this is the metal case Byakuya had with them. I believe he said it was made of Duralumin. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Hmm, what's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just the case inside. Oh, it's for the night vision goggles. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that cut really catches my attention is the small key. It must be the key to the other Duralumin case. The other case was in the office, and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Duralumin case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means the weapon inside... The weapons inside that Duralumin case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this Duralumin case in the first place? A case packed with all of this security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case. No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Was he trying to do something? Was Byakuya trying to do something and then got... Someone found out? Or were two people trying to kill each oh, other? Yeah, could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful? Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Uh, Hajime, a moment. Hmm, what is it? Hey. When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is the killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a scent similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? E well, yeah, but... Fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. 
Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. I guess for now we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. Um, there is something I want to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Um, it is strange, no? It appears that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps... Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm, you've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow, I see. It's like a barrier. Just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but... You don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed! Truly, I Aww. am a cultural ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Fire door has been added to the truth bullets, okay? Nope. Nope. I don't think you can look at it. Alright, All right, kitchen, because this. Cockroach man's in here. Yeah, this is my second main suspicion. plate of meat. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Fish dishes and a big piece of meat on the bone, too. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big. Even I was shocked. Well, guess that's it's, a about dish, it. it's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this on in Oyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less... Wait, didn't you just say that? Is that repeat? All right, yeah, whatever. you said I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. You don't need to repeat yourself, but it's so big. Where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nakamaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. But he seems like such a, like a, mm -hmm. not, I don't know. Strong yeah. man, but doesn't want to get his hands dirty. Yeah, like he didn't seem like with all this, like he didn't seem to handle it well. Enough. Well, seriously, Nakamura is so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ioma and Azabu, so wild country things like that they slip my mind a lot, you know. Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and. Or Kenne and, po and Peko, who took some portions for herself. Eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. To tell you the truth. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, <laughs> I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. Party dishes. Oh, I'm so suspicious. All right, that was just good. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like that the knife next to Byaku's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byaku's body That's check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? Oh, I didn't change voices. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. Man, I'm... I, I, these are the two people I'm most suspicious of. In one room. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terror Terror? Uh. <laughs> That blackout totally startled me. At first I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen... Oh, I'm even more suspicious. 
The hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. But he came back here. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Ah, that's impossible. The gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in a kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use that as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Um, I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Uh, Nagito, let's get going. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. So... He no. wasn't, he was not in the dining room when the lights came, when the lights came back on, Correct. but we know for a fact he was in there. He just admitted that he was in there. Yep. So what did he do? I don't like it. All right. And we will have to continue this investigation in the next episode. Oh, I'm so suspicious. I feel like we're, I feel like we've got some good pieces. Poor ham hands. Poor ham hands. What a way to go. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>